Hey everybody, my name is GameStash, and welcome to Brandenburg in under 5 minutes. Ready? No? 3, 2, 1, go! At the start of the game, Brandenburg is a duchy in northern Germany. Their capital is Berlin and their culture is Saxon, which is Germanic. They are a western nation and start, as almost any nation in Europe, as Catholics. Brandenburg is one of the nations that can form Prussia, which is arguably one of the strongest nations in the game. Although you can form Prussia as Brandenburg, there still are some differences between the two countries. Prussia, for example, has its own government type, the Prussian monarchy. This government type is one of the reasons Prussia is one of the strongest nations in the game. Secondly, Prussia's main culture is Prussian, whereas Brandenburg's was Saxon. And lastly, Prussia is either Protestant or Reformed. So here we can already note that one of the requirements to form Prussia as Brandenburg is that we have to be either Protestant or Reformed. Let's move on to the national ideas, traditions and ambitions. Normally when you form a new country, for example when you form Spain as Castile, you will get the option to choose whose national ideas you're going to keep, Castile's or Spain's. Prussia and Brandenburg used to be an exception to this, but this is not the case anymore. So what are national ideas in general? National ideas are the ideas up here, and they are unique for every nation. During the game you will pick idea groups when you reach specific administrative technology levels. Researching an idea from your idea groups will give you progression towards your national ideas. For every three ideas you research from idea groups, you will gain one national idea. A nation's traditions are boosts you will already have at the start of the game. You can see these here. So in Brandenburg's case, that is minus 15% construction cost and minus 20% cost to fabricate claims. Lastly, an ambition is an idea that you will get when you have gained all the national ideas. So for Brandenburg, this is minus 25% state maintenance. Now let's take a look at the national ideas more closely. Brandenburg has a very strong set of national ideas. Firstly, the plus 10% infantry combat ability and plus 10% morale of armies boost your military power significantly. Plus 10% national tax modifier is, in my opinion, the best way to get some extra money. The reduced stability cost modifier um, is not that great in my opinion, but it can be useful sometimes. The remaining ones speak for themselves, but I'm not going to go over each and every one of them because you're probably going to be forming Prussia uh, quite early on in the game, and then you're probably going to switch national ideas. Now let me return to what we discussed earlier. Uh, what makes Brandenburg so unique? Probably one of the most unique things is that you can form Prussia as Brandenburg. And as I already mentioned, Prussia has the Prussian monarchy as its government form, and with this government type you can invest military points to increase militarization. The more militarization you have, the more discipline, more manpower recovery, and the lower the cost for your army will be. And that is the reason why Prussia is arguably one of the best nations in the game. The Prussian monarchy gives some more boosts, I will put them on screen right now, and probably the best one to note here is that all your new leaders will have plus three in military. So now the most important question, how do you form Prussia? So firstly we need a core in Königsberg and in either Danzig or Stolp. Obviously we can only form the nation if we have admin tech 10 or higher. And lastly we need to be either Protestant or Reformed, which is easy to do. You can do that by going to the religion tab when the Reformation has started. Reformation starts roughly around 1500. And now lastly some tips to make your life easier when you're playing as either Brandenburg or Prussia. Generally speaking, it won't take you long to get the provinces you need to form Prussia. Therefore, you need to think of a good strategy of what to do in the meantime. But first, we notice that a lot of provinces that we need to have is owned by the Teutonic Order. This is in itself not a big problem, but Poland also wants to have those provinces. Poland, namely, needs to have Königsberg in order to form the Commonwealth. Here you must act quickly. Contrary to what you might think, it is actually a smart idea to ally Poland here. That way, if you declare war on the Teutonic Order and call Poland in, they will get a truce with the Teutonic Order as well when the war ends. And, if you're quick enough, you can be sure that Poland doesn't get any land from the Teutonic Order since you are the war leader. So make sure you get a claim on the Teutonic Province, place your troops near their border, declare war and make sure you're the first person in the province you want to have. Because the person to first arrive is the person who is going to occupy that province. Generally speaking, this is not really an issue, because normally the AI will give the occupation back to you. But since Poland also wants these provinces, it is not going to do that. There are some more things you need to consider that can either really help you or really fuck you over. There is the event called the Fate of Neumark. This is an event that lets you buy Neumark from the Teutonic Order. And it can only fire when you have no loans. Also, you need to be quite quick to get these provinces from the Teutonic Order, because if you wait too long, the Teutonic Order will become the nation Danzig and that will become a direct vessel of Poland, making it really hard for you to get those provinces you need in order to form Prussia. Poland has a truce with the Teutonic Order until 1450, so you have five years. Good luck. 
So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And why don't you subscribe to my channel? It's 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 100% free. Just 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 go over here. Click 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 the cool picture and click subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.